Wagwan and welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank and let's get right into this episode of Lucas Dimitri's career. Last time out, a late, late knockout victory in the 10th round against Danny Jacobs. Good fighter, 21 ranked, and now I think we are ranked number 21. With this next fight, we will be jumping into the top 20 and we actually have two options on which way we wanna go. We have what a streak and we have replacing an injured fighter. I'm definitely gonna go for the streak, but last fight, if you watched, it turns out that we might've had some actual injuries happen and take place, which is pretty unfortunate. But Gideon Phillips is going to be the one that we fight. He's saying that he's gonna put an end to this win streak that we're on, which I highly doubt. Let's see if we can go out here and get our 10th victory against the injured fighter instead. Jermaine Taylor. I was going to schedule that other fight, but it looks like the 17th ranked fighter, Jermaine Taylor, needs an opponent. 32 victories, six losses, and one draw with 19 knockouts. In his last five, we see two knockouts, three wins, and two losses. I'm feeling very good about this one. I think I'll go in here and knock this dude, Jermaine Taylor, out within five rounds. That's my prediction. I'll see everybody when it's time for the first week of sparring. Let's go. Here we are with sparring. Once again, getting ready for this fight against Jermaine Taylor. Huge opponent. I'm actually very excited to be fighting a, a top-ranked, I guess, opponent, right? 21 ranked. He's ranked number 20, uh, 21, so top 25. And maybe, or actually he's ranked 17. Lucas Dimitri is ranked number 21. So with this victory, he'll jump into the top 20. That's very, very big for the career of Lucas Dimitri. He's trying to get that title and eventually make his way up to heavyweight. So it looks like this guy Warren that we're fighting, he looks like a light heavyweight or even a heavyweight. It's a big ass opponent we're fighting right now in the sparring training. But you know what I'm saying? What? It's not very, um, it's not rare to have a smaller opponent go against a bigger opponent, especially in training, if they're in a, a lighter weight division. It gets, them, it gets them used to a bigger opponent, especially if they're planning on going up a weight class. Or you might see in MMA terms, especially in the UFC, at the apex, they'd be wrestling or training with light heavyweights and needs to be the welterweights or maybe even the lightweights that'd be training with light heavyweights. If it comes to, if it's jujitsu, it does not matter when it comes down to height, weight, all that. You know what I'm saying? It's all about technique in jujitsu. Me personally, I have not tried jujitsu, but I do know some things about it just watching, you know what I'm saying, UFC. But it's not like I'd be able to, I think I might be able to get somebody in a rear naked choke if I really needed to. I think I could. I've watched enough uh, Charles Oliveira fights. You know what I'm saying? Char and Islam Mahichev. I might have to go for a Kimura. <laughs> I might pull out a Kimura. If y'all see me, once I get to 1,000 and uh, 4,000 watch hours, I'll show my face. But if y'all see me out there doing a Kimura on somebody, do not be alarmed, all right? It wasn't just because I thought about doing it and decided to do a Kimura. It was more like uh, self-defense. <laughs> Maybe I will get some jujitsu classes. Let me know who down there does jujitsu or another discipline of mixed martial arts. All right, the sparring is in the books and I do want to make sure I'll go into this fight at full stamina so a rest week is a must. But before we go in, we will do some upgrades and honestly, I'm not too sure on what I should do, so we're just gonna go down here and upgrade the chin and upgrade the heart health. Just like that, nice and easy, let's call it a day. I'll see everybody out there when it's time for Jermaine Taylor to get knocked out cold. And here we are live. I was about to say here we are late, because technically we're a late replacement, but Jermaine Taylor, 168 with a 74 inch reach advantage or excuse me a 74 inch reach we have the reach advantage with i think eight inches it is we will be looking for that jab straight down the pipe along with that body hook i'm pretty sure this fighter is a 77 overall which i'm not really expecting to be fighting against especially this high up in the rankings I know every time you fight, you'll have a stat decrease, which is the reason why you see me going to training and then doing the athletic training after the sparring is so we'll be able to, I guess, get back to a decent overall. Right now, I'm only an 82, but we got a lot to look forward to. Let's go. We'll find out what Jermaine's talking about early. Beautiful, beautiful. Another one. Boom. If he doesn't put his hands up, Jermaine Taylor's gonna go to sleep tonight, quick. Good uppercut and a right hand. Just keep moving back and forth. 
Nice. Good body hook. Okay, there we go. There we go. Want to make sure I'm not taking too many punches now. There we go. Good body hook. Another body hook. Another one. Come on, bro. Oh, yeah, okay. Yo, I'm not going to lie. He cracked me with that punch, but it wasn't like he... He was going to put me out with it. I don't know if he really got it like that. He might have some power, but I don't know if he got it like that. You know what I'm saying? Beautiful. Yeah, I'll show you how to put somebody out, bro. You trying to put somebody down? I got you. I'm going to show you right now. You like that straight punch? You like that straight punch, man? I know you don't. That's a powerful punch coming back at you. Good jab. Good body straight. Good body hook. Good body hook again. Now I'm looking for the left body hook. Left and then back to the right. Oh, he rocked me, though, to the body. I got to make sure to keep my hands up, man. Lucas Dimitri allowing just too many punches right now. I'm going to have to upgrade my blocking next. And that is the end of the first round. And it's looking like Jermaine Taylor right now. I'm not going to lie. I haven't been able to rock his body just yet. But we'll find out exactly what I can do. We'll find out if the right hook is going to want to start landing. And it is. I mean, it's not like it's not landing. It's just like, there we go. It's all about slipping. I'm looking just to slip punches, man. There we go. Beautiful. 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 Look at this combination we're putting on him. To the body, to the face. To the body, to the face. There we go. If you hit the body first, the face opens up for about two punches. But it's got to be a good body shot, though. If it's not painful down low, they're not even going to really think twice about, you know what I'm saying, blocking down there. And there we go. Lucas Dimitri looking for the finish. Let's go. Let's go. It could be bad now. Beautiful. Get him out of there. Get him out. Get him out the corner, ref. Oh, my days. What was that? One, two, three body hooks. Comboed him up. He didn't even see the third one come in. The uppercut clipped him. Oh, my days. A beautiful, beautiful combination. Let's see it one more time. As soon as he dropped, the uppercut clipped him twice. And he goes right down to the floor. It's not looking good for Jermaine Taylor as he jumps back up to his feet. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, my days, man. I can't even believe this, bro. I swear, they always want to do this too, man. I get my drop, and the next thing you know, he wants to come out here and start fighting like Superman. Let's go, man. The straight punch. Swarm him, swarm him, swarm him. Get him out of here, bro. Done, he's done, man. Get him out of here, bro. I'm not playing these games anymore. I'm tired of it. Beautiful uppercut. He didn't even see it happen. Every time we crack him to the body, he gets smoked to the face. Beautiful. Three, four, five. And he's done already. Let's go, man. I knew it was going to be a quick finish. Look at him. He can't even close his mouth. Bottom lip looking loosey-goosey like the stance tonight. I'm channeling my inner Roy Jones Jr., baby. Looking for all the knockdowns and all the glory in this career mode. You know it's Lucas Dimitri, of course, with his 10th victory and his 10th KO. All I know how to do is knock the opponent out and keep moving forward. I think that was a second round KO. It's been Frank in the boxing ring with Lucas Dimitri. I hope everybody's had a great day after watching the video. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more daily uploads. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and I'll catch y'all all tomorrow.